let's talk about habituation, addiction, abuse of drugs. In your book, it says that there is psychological dependence, which is called habituation. Psychological dependence is called habituation. This is when there's a strong craving or desire for the drug. But when the drug is taken away, there is no physical um, effect, such as going through withdrawals, vomiting, shaking, seizures, that kind of thing. This is a strong craving or desire, which is called habituation. Physical dependence is addiction. Your book is telling us that addiction is the physical dependence so that if the drug is taken away, that the person is going into detox or withdrawal. They may have seizures. They may have physical needs that have to be addressed. Okay, so physical dependence, addiction. And then there's drug abuse. And drug abuse is taking a drug for a reason that is not for medical reasons or for something that is not the intended um, prescribed reason. So, are all addicts abusers? No. No, not all addicts are abusing the drug. Can you think of an example? How about hospice? I was a hospice nurse for a few years, and I tell you, I had a few patients that I know were addicted. But were they abusing it? No, they were not abusing it. They were dying. And as you go through the dying process, you need more and more and more of those meds. And did they get physically addicted? Yes. But they weren't abusing it. Okay? Now, are all drug abusers addicts? Some people may, an example of this might be, had a real rough week, tough time, now you have a couple days off and you have a leftover Norco and you take it and watch old movies. Is that abusing the drug? Yeah. Are you an addict? Nope. Okay. Do you see the difference? You know all my videos are actually questions on the test. Yeah, that'll keep you from doing dishes while my video's playing. <laughs>